The memory came creeping upon him in the darkness, as vivid as a dream. It was the year of false spring, and he was 18 again, down from the area to the tawny at Harren Howe. He remembered Brendan's <laughs> laughter and Robert's berserk valor in the melee. The way he laughed as the unhorsed men left and right. He remembered Jamie Lannister, a golden youth in scaled white armor, kneeling on the grass in front of the king's pavilion and making his vows to protect and defend King Ares. All six white swords were there to welcome their newest brother. Yet when the jousting began, the day belonged to Rhaegar Targaryen. The prince circled the field after unhorsing Sir Barristan in the final tilt to claim the champion's crown. Ned remembered the moment when all the smiles died, when Prince Rhaegar Targaryen urged his horse past his own wife, the Dornish princess Ilya Martell, to lay the Queen of Beauty's laurel in Lyanna's lap. He could see it still, a crown of winter roses, blue as frost. Ned Stark reached out his hand to grasp the flowery crown, but beneath the pale blue petals, the thorns lay hidden. He felt them clawing at his skin, sharp and cruel, saw the slow trickle of blood run down his fingers and woke, trembling in the dark. Promise me, Ned, his sister had whispered from her bed of blood. She had loved the scent of winter roses. God, save me, Ned wept. I'm going mad. The guards did not deign to answer. 